right, y'all. So we're back with some more gems from Coach Yeb and Ducky. Let's get straight into it, y'all. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and all of that. Let's get it, y'all. Siguro ang tanong na dito is, what's the difference ngayon? Ito na yung controversial. For sure, daming nagabang nito. At madami na nagtatanong para sa nung galing sa inyo. Ano ba yung talagang difference ng culture ng mm. isang team, right? When it comes to Indonesia at saka dito sa Philippines. At so, ang... Um, Mati itakil to. Oh. Depende sa inyo. Ba matanggalan ng trabaho. <laughs> hindi, hindi. I mean, pero eh, medyo sensitive ata 'to. It's sensitive. Hindi, hmm. hindi ba? Sorry naman yeah. lang naman. No, no, no. I mean, pwede niyo naman kasi hindi sagutin eh. Kasi ako yun so, lang naman observation are we looking, ko. Are we looking this uh in a financial scope? Hindi, depende sa inyo. Or, uh, kasi hindi nga mas para sa akin lang, yun yung nakita ko, mas generous yung sa Indonesia compared sa Philippines na org. Kasi mas kumita sila. Um, Main difference sa akin is mas madaling kumilos sa Indonesia kasi mas kumikita sila. Yun lang. Mm. <laughs> Yun lang yung gusto sabihin actually. Oh. Kasi, ano yung... So they earn more in the in Indonesia. But is that really... Is I think that it's just more people in Indonesia, more advertisers, more people willing to pay. So obviously the org can afford to pay more money. I don't think that that's necessarily a Indonesia versus Philippines thing. I think that Indonesia is just bigger, if I'm not mistaken. Ain't that right? So, obviously, it's going to be more money in Indonesia because there's more people, you know? So, yeah, unless I don't get it right. Eh, parang dito sa Pilipinas, may mga orgs na, alam mo eh, gusto nilang magbigay talaga ng, gusto nilang mabili lahat ng mga malalakas na players, gusto nilang mapag-build ng masasarap na pagkain sa bootcamp, best talaga. Gusto nilang i-provide yun. But they don't have the money to do it. Just mm -hmm. because, mas madami viewers sa Mm -hmm. yeah. Indonesia. Viewers. Parang ganun. Ako ah, since nasa yung pala ID ako, mm -hmm. tingin ko, itong topic mo, mm -hmm. magsisimula siya sa ano eh, sa team ah. owners eh. Kung gaano ba kalalim yung pinag-uusapan nilang kaya nilang mm -hmm. ilabas eh. Para mapaganda yung prod, uh -oh. para mapalaki yung price pool. Mm -hmm. Doon yun eh. Kasi, eh mo, pwede natin disclose talaga to, pero yun yung pagbabasaya ni Mundun. Okay. Yung franchise fee. Diba? Uh Oo. -oh. Tapos, dahil mas malaking bansa si Indonesia, Indonesia. Uh -oh. mas madaming makakapanood. Pero kasi, <laughs> eto ang hindi ko mainin yan. Sa Indonesia, given population niya, ma ma madami. Mm. Madami sobra. So, uh -oh. companies, syempre madami din. Maraming endorsements. Mm. Para sa players. Uh Oo. -oh. Maraming sponsors yung MPL. Mm. Yeah. Parang dito lang sa atin sa Pinas. Kung sa, kasi hindi nananalo. <laughs> hindi, hindi ko naman alam uh -huh. ah. Since uh, hindi, mm. ko, hindi ako nag-Facebook masyado. Hindi ko alam kung may endorsement yung players. Mm. Kasi dun lalaki yung ano eh. Sin din eh. Yeah. Tsaka dun mm. extra nung players yun eh. Mm. Dito kasi walang ganun eh. I, I, I think, sorry ha, ito yung opinion ko ha. Simulan ko na. Mm. This is a good conversation. So, I think more successful yung Filipino players because they are less incentivized. Okay? Mm -hmm. Ah, that's a good point. So, like, Indonesian players are comfortable. They're making a comfortable wage, a comfortable living. They're relaxed. They're stress-free. Filipino players, they're still trying to earn their way to freedom. They're still trying to earn that income where they could where they can feel comfortable so they more hungry they want it more like is that is that way you going with that yeah you got to go harder in salary this i know so you are asked to perform better or at least in your own way you are okay kailangan ko kung gusto ko pa lang magkumita ng pera kailangan mm. ko galingan mas galingan mm. than than in indonesia kasi oh. kasi part of my part of the biggest chunk ng papanalo ng kumpara is from winning tournaments. Sila kasi hindi na kailangan yun eh. Now, the only culture... Eh, 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 <laughs> he said they don't really need to do that. <laughs> I mean, generous nga yung Indonesia eh. Uh, Mga Filipino, I think, kung bakit sila nagpa-perform better is because, you know, say, mm. since they're getting paid less, mas gusto na mas gusto nila ang kumina mm. ng pera by winning. Sa lahat naman, ako so sa ko truth. lang nag... Sa'yo ko lang narinig yan. Ang ganyan argument. I promise, sa'yo ko lang narinig yun na okay. ganyan. ganyan. Well, well, there's some truth kasi dun sa sinasabi nila. If you're paid less and you're given an opportunity to earn more by winning, what would you do? Manalo. Diba? Try hard exactly. ka manalo. So, 
uh, whereas your your counterpart in in Indonesia is already getting paid better money. Mm. Meron silang endorsements, meron silang streaming. So, I think medyo less yung ano nila, yung motivation to like win because mm. kagaya nga nung ibang ibang players na nagpapahinga, <coughs> they're satisfied in just one win or one. Sa akin, good point. Good mm. point. Pero, since ilan taon na ako, two years na ako sa Indonesia, ata, mm, two years na, magdun. Tingin kong yung difference talaga is yung mindset. Oh. When it comes to uh, mental toughness, iba ang Pilipino. Ang Pilipino kasi, parang, mm-hmm. di mo ko kaya. Oh. Parang, Mm, alam mo yun? Mental <laughs> oh, Akin to eh. Oh. Di mo ko matalo. Ang Indonesia. Mm. Alam mo yun? Parang gagawin ko yung best ko. Mm-hmm. Nagalingan ko. It's... Tama naman ba rin eh. Di ba nga? Mm. Mental fortitude. Mental fortitude is a big deal though. That difference between yeah, you ain't got nothing on me. I'm I'm gonna like that. That You need that mindset where it's like I'm going to destroy you as opposed to I'll do my best. I'll try. Like, I think that that is, like, the Filipinos are very hungry. Y- like, y'all go hard in the Philippines. I mean, both go hard, but yeah, that's true. Then you, you Korea. Korea has always been very good at yes. esports. League of Legends, kahit yung Dota team nila, at hindi yung dahil sa genetics, dahil doon sa culture. When it comes to mental fortitude, yun, yun talaga. Let's talk about yung uh, skill, mechanical skill. At <laughs> feeling ko, regardless of the region, she, hindi siya pang... Hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na mas maganda yung mechanics ng PH or ng Indo. Hindi eh, feeling ko. Diba? Feeling ko, nag, na, nandun na tayo sa ceiling eh. Oh. Ng mga players eh. Alright. So yun. Ba- basta, ang point is, walang, hindi, hindi, it's not a matter of mechanical skill kung bakit mas successful ang PH or Indonesia. Parang ganun. Factor, no? Mm. Factor siya eh. I think, uh, to an extent, factor siya. Mm-hmm. Pero I think the biggest and the most glaring factor is definitely macro skills. Macro. Which is- Take note of this. The biggest factor is macro skills. That's the most important part of the game, and that's what 99% of players are not very good at. Like, keep that in mind. Like, it's not... It's hard to be good at the macro because that's not something that's taught. That, that requires thinking. To be good on a hero mechanically, that's fairly easy all you got to do is keep practicing over and over and over relentlessly you're going to improve mechanically doesn't matter who you play 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 only fanny for a year straight every single game play only fanny no matter what you'll be pretty good at playing fanny especially by uh, by a year later that that's just going to happen that's how easy it is to play mechanics but you could be trash when it comes down to macro for years and years and years it does not matter how much like, that's just not something that you just improve on. You have to be very intentional with the way that you think, the decisions you make. You have to study. You have to understand. And that's a that's a lot harder to do. So, yeah. Just, you know, speaking to us at a level na talagang halatang halata mo eh. And only Onik Indonesia. Honestly, I can say, hate me. You know, I said mm-hmm. what I said. Onik lang ang meron nun for mm-hmm. now. Uh, sana, with the... Uh, with, uh, <laughs> <laughs> bayad to guys ha? sorry bayad to <laughs> nasend na sa akin kasi sa G kasi kailangan ko sabihin to sorry I said what I said uh, Onik Indonesia lang pare yung merong uh, uh, macro skill that yung... is pretty reminiscent of Filipino teams okay so kaya I think uh, right now ang ganda ng performance sa international stage ng Onik Indonesia yeah and I hope you know, with all these imports na dumarating ngayon sa Indonesia, yeah, no? Oh, okay. Sana maging, maging ganun at the same time. Kasi it brings, it brings, uh, you know, it brings out the best in both regions. Eh. Yeah. Kapag ka, nag, nandun na yung certain level of competition. That's why I really love playing yung team ni Yeb, team, mm. yung mga teams na high performing <laughs> pagdating dun sa ano. Kaso talo kayo. Hey! 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 Masasabi niyo bang may, may iba din sa approach at mindset siguro ng mga players ba ah. or coaches ganun yung ako ah ano ko lang opinion opinion si Indonesian players gusto nila i-show off yung mechanical skills nila yeah. kasi uh-huh. yung macro nila hindi ko alam o oh, baka pangit yung term ko kulang uh-huh. or hindi 
ganun kalawak yung understanding nila sa game. Mm. So, ano lang? I love the fact that he said that. A lot of players have egos thinking that they know how to play the game and understand how to play the game. Peep what he just said. Pro players don't even know how to play the game sometimes. A lot of teams in Indonesia don't even know how to play. So they show off mechanics. You can be very skillful when it comes down to mechanics, but not actually know how to what it takes to win a game of Mobile Legends. Because you can do all the flashiest things in the world, but that does not get the, tower, the right towers pushed. That does not allow you to secure Lord at the right time. That doesn't allow you to take farm away from the enemy team while giving your own team more farm. That doesn't give you those skills. It doesn't tell you when to freeze a lane, when not to freeze a lane, when to push aggressively, what lane to prioritize pushing in, what players to rotate. Like all of that stuff, that's like, it changes every single game. It changes based on hero picks. It's constantly changing over and over every single game. Because one situation, you could have the exact same characters, but two different types of players playing those characters. So you, if you have Kyrie on Assassin one game and you're going against Kyrie, you got to play that game differently than if you have me on Assassin. One, because Kyrie is one of the best at Assassins. Two, because I'm trash at Assassin. So you wouldn't play that the same. If, if I'm on Assassin, that's basically a useless Assassin on the other team. So you would be stupid to play that to play me like you're going against Kyrie. That, that would be a waste of your time. You're better off going for another stronger player on my team. And that's why it's so difficult and complicated because it, it's so much to process. It's so much to think about. It's hard. It's very hard. Macro skills are so difficult. Lang mambao nila. Nag-pro player sila kasi sobrang lupit ng macro nila. Sobrang lupit nila. Micro. Guma- ah, micro. ng micro nila. Gumamit ng hero na to. Mm. Ngayon, yun lang. I yeah. mean, suntukan ng suntukan to. Suntukan ng suntukan oh. eh. Parang manok. Oo. Oh, oh. oh. Seryoso parang, naman eh. Parang sabong. Oo, oh, parang sabong dun eh. <laughs> Pero hindi rin madali kalaban yun. Ah. Hindi porket madungis yung laro nila. Is madungis din nila, uh, ano, gag- <laughs> yeah. execute yun. It's just that ang hirap nilang sabayan. I think tama naman yung observation ng general public na talagang la- laban, labanan. Mm. Ang unang, parang yung default na strat ng Indonesian teams ay pagalingan tayo. Oh, para pagalingan ganun. tayo pumindot. Where, uh, whereas dito sa Philippines, utakan tayo. Utakan tayo. Kasi, uh, na, na hindi, ganun din eh. eh. Pagalingan tayong pumindot, pero as a team. Sa Indonesia kasi is, parang, uh, gagamitin yung sarili ko kasi magaling ako. Oh. Yung Pilipino kasi is, gagamitin yung team ko ah, okay, okay. para talunin kayo. Okay. Ah, I think mas maganda. Oh, uh, ngayon nga yung better explanation. I think that's, uh, that's a better analogy for it. Yeah. Kaya, kaya nga, napapag-usapan natin na Indonesia is a basically a great, or MPL Indonesia is a great showcase of individual skills, which is true. Oh. Pero aside from that, wala ka makita masyadong macro-centric place na ginagawa nila. Yeah. It's just that, you know, Pagalingan talaga ang pumindot. Okay. So, hindi sila technically behind. Hindi sila hindi, behind. Hindi sila behind. They're, they're just lagging in terms of understanding what is necessary to win. Okay. Siguro, pwede kong idagdag. Behind sila sa magtuturo sa kanila. Yeah. So, all right, y'all. That, there we have it. This was a great video full of so much information, man. They're giving us gems. They're giving us a lot of stuff to really think about, especially if you want to improve in a game. Um, hopefully this doesn't go over a lot of people's heads and you all kind of get what they're saying and you use it to change your game and improve your game in ways. But yeah, that being said, y'all, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn notifications, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.